fact that Asian Americans are highly educated and do relatively well, why is it so difficult to climb the corporate ladder? I talked about that with Sam Maseyas. He's an expert on advocate for minorities in the United States. Uh, reasons for that are, are complicated, I think, but um, a lot of it has to do with uh, stereotypes about uh, Asian Americans and the ways in which those stereotypes contradict um, what we view as traits of good leadership in the United States. Um, Asian Americans are stereotyped as being very passive, um, uh, you know, co uh, collectivist, uh, conforming. Um, and, and those things are very different than what we view as traits of good leaders in the U.S., um, traits that uh, include being assertive, aggressive, individualistic, competitive, self-promoting, and, and so forth. So wh what needs to happen to erase these types of stereotypes? Uh, oh, that's uh, that's a. Uh, Good question, a difficult one to answer because the stereotypes have been around for uh, for centuries um, in the West, uh, and they're deeply embedded in society. And so um, they permeate the media, uh, they permeate um, the the environment that people are grow up in and are socialized into. And so um, you know, I don't think anyone's figured out how to eradicate stereotypes yet. Um, but part of it is that we need to uh, we need to ensure that more diverse representations of Asian Americans uh, are represented in, in the media um, and in different sectors of society, so that people uh, don't have one idea of what Asian Americans are in this country. So, Sam, and finally, what kind of trends are you seeing as far as employment and even when talking about college admissions? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, so with regard to employment, um, you know, I think there's, a, there's an assumption that Asian Americans are overly successful in uh, the STEM areas, the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics areas, which I alluded to earlier. Um, but the reality is when we see high numbers of Asian Americans in those fields, um, it's partially because they're concentrated in those fields, not because they're doing well overall. Um, and, and are highly successful in general. Um, many Asian immigrants came to the U.S. in order to fill uh, professional positions um, in the workforce in the areas of science and technology. Uh, but at the same time, if we look at other areas, other professions, they're actually underrepresented, um, for example, among K-12 teachers. One of the uh, hot-button issues that Asian, Asian Americans are engaged in right now is affirmative action uh, because there's an assumption that, um, first of all, Asian Americans are uh, all high achieving. They're getting into um, colleges at higher rates than all other groups at more selective colleges. Um, and now there's some data that suggests that institutions that are highly prestigious are um, actually using race as a, as a tool to exclude Asian Americans from, the, uh, from their institutions. Um, and so uh, this is becoming a, a pretty controversial issue because recently uh, there was a lawsuit filed against Harvard University for discriminating against um, Asian Americans in admissions. All right, we'll leave it at that. Thank you so much, Professor Sam Maseyas. Thank you.